Welcome back to Roblox Album, best open world game in Roblox. Before we start, I would like to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. How to trade rare blocks fruits in Roblox for exclusive items. Before we start, I would like to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Here is how to trade rare blocks fruits in Roblox for exclusive items. Flower ship. Usually, you can obtain the flower ship by giving about 1,500 fragments to the cyborg, after which you have to spawn it from a luxury boat dealer. This option seems to be way too expensive to pay for a flower ship. This is why we have another way of getting a flower ship, and that is by exchanging your rare blocks fruit for it. It would totally be worth it, as this ship has 2,500 health, and also four cannons and the cannons are located at the front, so it can fire at larger angles than any of the other ships. Sloop Boat This is a boat that you do not need Robux to buy but still you may need belly. As a pirate, the boat costs 300 belly but as a marine, you could buy it for almost half the price which is 150 belly. But my question to all of you is, why should you have to pay Robux or even belly to get these items when you can just get them for free by exchanging with your rare blocks fruits? Once you have exchanged it, you will know how fast it is, as this is the fastest boat if we exclude the luxury and speedboat, so this is a good deal, right? Plotster This is also an NPC or non-playable character that is located on the bridge between the Rose Kingdom and Green Zone. Usually, they charge a price for the services they have to provide. They ask for 2,500 fragments. The job they do is that they will reset your stats so that it would allow you to relocate them. So if you think you need to reset your stats, just save up your rare artifacts and then the rest is pretty simple to do. Microchip all of these items come at a fairy price, and that is why we are so glad that there is a system where we can exchange the rare blocks fruits we have for these exclusive items. For you to buy the microchip, you have to go to the hot and cold area, and from there, you have to go to the roof of Smoker Admiral's building, where you would find another NPC or non-playable characters. Selling the order microchip, but that would cost you 1,000 fragments. But instead, if you use the artifacts that you can easily collect, those that are dropped by Darkbeard, then you might get access to the microchip for free. What does the microchip do? You can use this microchip to do an order raid, which everyone knows is important. Dragon Breath Dragon Breath, also called a Dragon Claw, can easily be obtained by exchanging the rare blocks fruits. This is something that you would definitely want to get your hands on too. Let me explain a bit about what this is. Dragon Breath is divided into three different categories. Dragon Rush In this, the player dashes forward two times. The player is caught in intense flames and that's why it can do high damage in a small radius and if it hits the target, then you can slice a few more times to cause extra damage. If you miss the first dash, the second dash causes 90% reduced damage or full damage. Dragon Flames, where the player fires a straight beam of flame, which would knock down the enemies and cause medium damage. And Dragon Explosion. The players get to hit the ground after a short delay that would create an explosion after a large radius. So this is a valuable addition to your collection, so don't miss out on this. Kabucha. For you to get Kabucha, which is a long and narrow slingshot, you have to trade in your artifacts. This is also the weapon which among all the ranged weapons in the game has the fastest fire rate. In a very brief description of the weapon, I would also like to tell you about abilities that it can perform. Flying Firebird, in which the player gets to fire a flying bird-shaped projectile that could later explode and cause AoE damage, and Intense Wind, in which the player can knock down the enemies by using a beam of wind. Even with only two abilities, this is a very powerful slingshot, and that is why you have to exchange some of your rare blocks fruits for this. Norp Norp is an NPC which stands for non-playable characters, and these are those passive characters that can teach you things about trade and can sell you many items. So Norp is an NPC that is found in the cafe. What the Norp would do is that it will take a rare artifact and he will be able to change your race to a random one. If you want to change your race without investing any money, then your best option is to trade your rare artifact 
or else you would need 3,000 fragments just to get a race reroll. So what are you waiting for then? Now you're probably thinking how important these blocks fruits are if they could get you all these amazing items. They really are rare and would help you out in your gameplay. These are just a few items we have talked about here. There are more, and we would be getting even more soon enough. So hope that the items we haven't discussed here are as good as the ones we did discuss. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.